Wireframe is one of the simple tools you can use to convey a big idea. Hi, I'm Sergio Sala and welcome to Bio.top Plus. In this video, we'll look at what defines a wireframe, what a good wireframe does and does not include, when a wireframe is most helpful, and how you can easily get started wireframing. So let's start with what is a wireframe. So a wireframe is a simple visual guide that represents the skeletal framework of a website or of a digital product. Think of it as the blueprint of your final design. You're providing enough detail so everyone knows the stage of the wall, but you're not getting so deep into it that you're not giving the exact details on the type of brick the wall should be made of. That comes later. And wireframes are not the time to set anything in stone. In fact, it's the opposite. The power of wireframes is they provide an opportunity to gather more information through usability research and a stakeholder input. Because wireframes are so simple, people can actually focus on the functionality or the user experience of a digital product instead of the colors or the aesthetic of any given product. So next, we're gonna explain the two types of wireframes. The first one is the low fidelity wireframing. It's the most basic type of wireframing. It's so simplistic, the paper and pen will actually suffice as a way to represent your ideas. However, it's actually good to create it digital because you can easily share it and make sure that others can access to your latest thinking as you iterate. Low fidelity wireframes are done in grayscale with a focus on layout and high level interactions. UI elements and content are represented by basic shapes like square, triangles, circles, and line. Next, the high fidelity wireframing takes what you put together in the low fidelity stage and sprinkle in the more detailed element. High fidelity wireframes include visual markers and branding signifiers like colors, graphics, and font style. UI elements look realistic and might even include texture and shadows. At this stage, a designer might also choose to add in images and copy. So now I'm gonna give you a wireframe example, and there are many tools to use, but in this case, we're gonna use Figma because it's very well suited for wireframing and being browser-based means it's ideal for collaborating. So I'm gonna show you right now on the screen. So you gotta go to the browser and type figma.com and then just sign up and create your own account so you can start using Figma. On their website, on the menu, click resources and then go to templates and then you're gonna find here the wireframe kits. You click it, and here, you click the button, it will open up in Figma. Once it's open up, you're gonna find this document with all the wireframe kits. So if you zoom in, you're gonna find a very quick uh, tutorial how can, how can you use it, all the kits, all the tools that you can use. So you can just scroll and check them all. But the best thing is that you just go and check the pages on the where it says build your own just click on there you can start creating your own wireframe so we're going to start with this frame this frame has a wide of 1440 which is the usual desktop size so we can start with that and we can just delete this one and start creating our own wireframe kit so next to layers you're going to find on the menu that says assets you just, just click on it and there you're going to find all the components to start making your wireframe so we're going to start with the navigation we just drag and drop it and we put it on top and then we can start working on the whole wireframe key let's start making a hero site if we want more space just click on the frame and then we go we add let's say of a height of 3000 so we have enough space and then we can work on more let's say you need posts so we just put it next to it let's say that you need social proof so we're gonna add social proof just scroll a little bit more add it here and let's end with a footer this one over here you can also just make sure that the frame just just click the frame and it just covers still the footer and there you go in this way you can make a very easy wireframe and also depends on the site that you're gonna make if you want to have some examples or inspiration for your wireframe kit just check in battle elements and we have a lot of resources we have tons of wireframe kits and illustrations and tools you can start using for example this element in battle it's called liberty mobile wireframe and as it says in the name it's all about using a wireframe on a mobile screen 
So there's almost no grown time to use a wireframe. But just think about when you want to present the idea to other users, to stakeholders, to have a group decision, or just to validate your plan for the design process. And there you have it. Remember, the wireframe is just a blueprint of what's gonna happen next on your design process. And if you wanna get better at wireframing, the only way is to practice. Just start with a blank page, create a content, and iterate, and eventually you're gonna create a fully functioning product. Thanks for watching. Ciao.